Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Zen Zhao and dominate on him. For our runes, we went Conqueror, Triumphant, Alacrity with Coup de Grasse. You could also go for Tenacity if they have heaps and heaps of CC. And then for our secondary runes, we have Relentless Hunter and Sudden Impact. You can go for Nimbus Cloak or Water Walking instead. For those of you wondering, well, why not Hell of Blades? Hell of Blades is good. However, if you have a 1v1 to the death enemy jungle matchup like a Zen Zhao, I mean like a Master Yi or Olaf, it's not very good. You're going to want Conquer for 1v1 fights to the death. If you were to run something like Hell of Blades against a Master Yi or an Olaf, you're automatically going to lose that fight and it won't be worth it. We got our wood down. I want to make sure they don't cheese us. They have a pretty strong level 1 with the Caitlyn and Karthus. Could have laid it on my opposite side. I doubt Master Yi would opt to start on my blue buff though. I'll ping him on my way to my red buff. And we actually are going to go for Cinder Hulk this game. We're going to need the extra magic damage. Our team's super AD heavy. Cinder Hulk gives massive amounts of ability power on its burn. You can also proc the burn very easily. It actually makes your clears really, really fast after you knock up a monster. We're going to start E, auto attack, E reset. Zin Zhao, you can either go Cinder or Warrior. If your team needs AD, you go Warrior. Otherwise, Cinder is way more consistent. You need a lot more value out of it being tanky and still doing insane damage regardless. And when you look at our team, we don't have a single tank. Alari is kind of like a bruiser tank. They don't have a tank either. So by the nature of me kind of going more tanky bruisery, I think we'll get really high value. I'm going to take my Q level 2. Auto attack EQ. Knock him up. Pull him towards my Gromp. Zin Zhao is an amazing champion for beginners or people new to jungle. Because he heals off of his passive every third auto. To where it's basically impossible for you to die in your own jungle. Which is good stays relatively high hp we haven't even used a potion yet you do typically want to start on your red buff however if you do get a leash from your bot lane you can make it work so if you're on this side you do blue gromp then red since i was on this side i did red blue then gromp double buffs plus gromp will give you level three which is perfect because since that is a fast solo clear jungler last starting to shove up so is karthus i think i'm going to go for the karth he's a bit of an easier gank he has no escapes i'm going to hold this wall could potentially invade the Yi as well here, but Karthus is super free. I'm going to go for this. Turn on my sweeper. E Q on his head. I really wish Tristana didn't jump back in. She may actually die here. Ooh, that was very close. I need to go ahead and finish shoving in the wave since Tristana has minion advantage. It's going to be in a really weird spot if I don't. All right, nice. We got it shoved in. I think we can solo the Master Yi as well. It looks like he took his Raptor, so he should be a bit lower on HP. He might have gotten in for a full clear. He's either on Golems or... Probably finishing up his red buff by now. Yeah, he's definitely on Golems. I think we'll find him here. Oh, he's actually not over here. I think we'll just go for the Vladimir. Those minions did spot us. I'm, I'm shocked Master Yi wasn't on his Golems at that point. Oh, here he is. Knock him up, then W. Knock him up, W. Oh my god, we're still alive, guys. It's a very important, I hope you learn from that fight, that you need to knock them up first and then W them. Karthus, big mistake, buddy. Yeah, we just pushed him off his wave. He's fucked now. He can't get back. Hopefully Tristan just goes mid and shoves. If I would have been Hell of Blades, I would have lost that fight against Conqueror Mastery. Now we're in a perfect spot to win. Good thing Vladimir didn't rotate. He's very lucky as Karthus rotated. That was very unusual. Alright, cool. We got Scuttle Crab. We're gonna go for the other one. Zin Zhao is a heavy Scuttle Crab champion. Plays a lot around single target camps in his first clear. You're normally gonna skip wraps and golems in your first clear no matter what. You're normally just three camp clear jungler at most. You can do four camps. The fourth one being wolves. Knock it up. Smite Wise knocked up for the extra damage. Uh, I think we can kill Yi. He doesn't have red buff. He's probably on his Gromp right now, or he's on his way to wolves. Okay, I found him. Knock him up, then W. That way you can't dodge it, and he just lost. He's dead. I have my full Conqueror stacked. He's getting his head squashed. Knock him up. W, he's dead. It's that simple, guys. Uh, Zin Zhao can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of really strong jungle champions. Very basic. Just EQ, W them once they're knocked up. That way you don't miss it. He fla I believe he flashed away. He got really far away there. I'm going to grab his wolves. Are they already down? Oh, they are already down. That sucks. I guess I'm going to go ahead and just grab Gromp and then reset. Against monster camps, it's okay to E then W, then Q. But against champions, you really do need to save your W until you have them knocked up. 
it takes a bit to cast it and if you miss the the tip if you miss that middle part then you're missing out on the majority of its damage so if there's one thing you take away from this video knock them up and then hit them with your w it's free all right we're gonna go red smite we're gonna get our bomby cinder on your first bat you're looking for red smite and if you can afford it you also go for bombies boots a pink ward and now you can uh just build straight into your cinder hulk it'll be really freaking strong after cinder hulk typically it's gonna be black cleaver dead man's plate or steric gauge is your next item you really don't go for trinity force on zin Zhao unless you're super far ahead or especially if you're going cinder hulk trinity force is kind of mad anyways so i wouldn't recommend it bit overrated bot lane shoved up we'll take it there's a pink ward here i don't think she'll expect it unless pike pushes her away nice nice good hook jump in on her do some damage i mean my goal wasn't really to steal the kill there i think she wants to freeze it otherwise okay maybe they don't i can't tell i could go and kill mastery on his blue buff i'll go for my red buff first if he's late to it i'll go over there we'll keep an eye on that yeah so normally against monster camps what you're gonna do is ew then q it's normally the fastest way that way you get the q cooldown on your w looks like mastery is on his blue buff right now we cannot get there in time however we do have mid and bot prior so we can go ahead and grab dragon at this point if mastery comes we'll smash him 1v1 and go for this scuttle crab i'm gonna hold on to my w i don't really need it here I'm kind of low on man anyways. I'm gonna get my word down. EQ it, and I'm gonna go to Mastery's red buff next. I'm hoping he shows up on the map. Oh, there's Zillion. <laughs> what a goofball. I'm hoping Mastery shows up on the map so that way he doesn't get there too fast. Because if he just clears into it, I can't get there in time. Zin Zhao's late game isn't amazing. There's a lot of jungle champions that will outscale you late game. So it is important when you have opportunities, do take dragons. Because if you do have dragon soul, you're fine late game, dude. You still have a huge advantage late game. Big chance of winning if you have dragon soul on Zinzo. That's all I'm going to say. We have our R now. Normally it's more useful in team fights than it is in 1v1s. Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's just a bit extra. I think he's on his golems. Maybe warded. All right, he's already taken. Oh, he actually hasn't. I may have stepped on a ward. I'm gonna check the bush. After that knock of it, procs your bomby cinder, extra burn. Really, really strong. I could go top and kill this zillion, man. He's being really cocky. My R, I can save it kind of for the Karthus R, so it can't hurt me. Yeah, zillion's gonna die here. I have to save my E so he doesn't stun me. Hit him with a Q. See how I saved my E until he started throwing out bombs. Got him. I'm actually, I actually want to die of him. I don't know if Karthus is going to come. Your W gets the most damage per level, so you normally max it first. Oh, yeah, he went all the way home. That's unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and reset. Or we could go for Herald. That's another good option. Resetting on full jungle item is huge. Even if you're not ahead, you can normally get full jungle item on any jungle champion before 10 minute mark. We have way more gold than we need to even finish this out. Enemies are having trouble. Their late game is definitely better than ours with the Zillion Caitlyn. I think Zillion's tilted, so he's just roaming, which is bad. You don't really want to do that <laughs> this early. Stranding your Caitlyn in a kill matchup. Stranding your AD carry in a passive lane is fine, but against a hook support like Thresh, Blitzcrank, Pike, it's kind of dangerous. If it's just like a John or Soraka, it doesn't matter as much. But he's still top lane. We're going to kill him again. I mainly used my R to disjoint the Vladimir and the Zillion. Give us more space to kill. The most recent person you hit, your ultimate doesn't knock them away. So you can use it in that way. Looks like we're going top lane. Tristan is interested. I'll ping it. Enemies are missing. Oh, here they are. I probably worried the bush. My R is up in 10 seconds. I'll use my E after he throws out his bombs. Then I can just E on top of him and knock him up anyways. If you immediately E on the people when you're already behind them, then they can just use their flash and you have... Oh, he's fucked. <laughs> oh my god, Vladimir. 
Poor guy. Rest in pepperonis, Vlad. We're gonna go ahead, Q or E max second. It doesn't matter too much. Normally you go for the E max second though. Either one's fine. They're both really good. I think E max second's a little bit better though. The most important thing is maxing W first. It's your main source of damage. We'll go ahead and, ooh, what is this? The enemies are playing aggressive. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get there in time. They're gonna kill him. Karthus may, ooh, if he landed one more. Players are still incredibly flat, fast. Gonna go ahead and reset. We now have our Cinder Hulk. We'll pick up Merc because they have a lot of CC and slows. Their team was more AD heavy. I just go tabbies. On Zin Zhao, it's pretty much always Merc Treads or tabbies. And next item Dead Mans would be really good. Sterix is good here. Black Cleaver is good here. I'll just go Dead Mans Rush. I already have some magic resist off of my Merc Treads. And then Dead Mans would be good for anything else. Closing distances, being tanky. And Dead Mans does a bit of damage as well. After Dead Mans, I could go for a Phage. Black Cleaver, or I could just go straight for Sterics. Normally, with Lifeline items, you don't want to rush them on Zen until it's your third full item, because they do give you more value per level. The higher level you are, the bigger the shield. So typically, you're not going to be rushing it straight after Sinner Hulk or straight after Warrior. It's a little more rare. So normally, your item after Cinder is going to be a Black Cleaver, Dead Man's, and then 10% of the time a Sterix. We'll go for Dead Man's this game. Our team needs a tank. That was an accident, by the way. I wasn't trying to lay that. Got my sweeper on. We'll get the Karthus. We'll, we'll hit him with an R. <laughs> Poor guy. I was trying to arm towards our turret. It wasn't as good of an R as I would have liked it to be, but I just r him and then hit him with the EQ. That's whatever. I'm really tanky. I'm gonna go ahead and take Mastery's red buff here. I think I can get away with it. I'm on my potions right now, anyways. Zillion, you. Oh, Mastery's on Dragon. I think Pike's gonna get him. And this Pike's really fed, man. He's got a full Dust Blade. It's just as strong as the Mastery is, nearly. Only difference is Mastery's a slightly higher level. Vladimir's looking gankable. Got it. Alright, we'll get Vladimir next. Wow, he's out of mana, I think. Vladimir would have won that if he had a bit more HP. Lau is out of mana, no way. Nice. Help him shove it. Knock it up. Big cinder burn. We can get turned off that 100%. We'll E the mini for attack speed. Auto attack Q reset on the turret. Your Q is a really good auto attack reset. If you jump on someone with your E, you auto them pretty much instantly. And then you can use your Q kind of to re reset your auto attack timer like this look auto attack Q reset it's a slow auto attack resetter but it still is technically an auto attack resetter it's kind of like a Garen Q how on Garen if you can auto then Q it's a little bit cleaner Karth is down zillion chilling we will pick him off we'll be patient we'll let the wave shove in with an REQ, kill him with W. He's out of there. Got tossed around like a football. Oh, here's Master Yi. Okay, have Mets my knocked up. I use my W a little bit late. I need to heal up off of my passive before Karthus presses R. I don't know if he's already has or not. I'm just trying to get my health back up. Not bad. I was getting chewed in too hard there because of Caitlyn and Master Yi. And I'm sitting on a lot of gold. I can get my dead man's here and I'll be super, super strong. I guess I could give that to Kaisa. Since she's behind, she really should give that to me. But if your teammates are, if they're the one who started the camp, it's considered BM to take it from them. But I was BM for her to take that when she's two and four. Got my dead man's now, super, super strong. We can go for Wits End or Black Cleaver or Sterix. Uh, you know, I think I'd rather go Black Cleaver here. I, I know you can say, well, they don't have any tanks and armor. Yes, but the extra damage and 20% cooldown reduction especially is very, very nice to have. 
help us out a lot with our ability timers. We got that big burn, baby. We have two dragons. We got the Herald. We can grab Herald again as it spawns in as well. My Cinder Hulk's back off the cooldown right after I knocked it up by two seconds. I'm gonna go kill the Vladimir super easily. I don't know what he's thinking. What is he doing? I only used my W early because I thought he was gonna run away from me, but he's just chilling. Yeah, if you have to close the distance on someone, you can eat at something near them and then just hit him with a W. Your W is a slow, so hopefully you landed if you do that because that's going to slow you down. Your E is a slow as well. Your E slows them by 50% for for a half. Oh, by 30% for half a second. That's still pretty good. Biggest camps. So I'll go ahead and shove this wave in as well. A nice thing about Cinder Hulk too, guys, is it gives you a lot of AoE clear. If you go for Warrior, your AoE on Zinzao is kind of shitty. But with Cinder Hulk, you don't even... Like, you don't need team at or anything. You can just clear the waves without it. Cinder Hulk burn is really overtuned, honestly. And I know you're going to say, but your W... Clear the minions with your W if you go Warrior Rush. But dude, look. Read it. Deals 50% less damage to minions. That's the issue. I've played a lot of Zinzao mid. If you guys haven't seen those videos, definitely check them out. But look at that cinder burn, dude. That feels so good. Vladimir doesn't realize how tanky I am, dude. This guy is high. This guy is so high, dude. He's tilted. He's tilted and high. That's a dangerous combo right there. Trust me, I would know. <laughs> Alright. They are just chilling right there. I'll take the wave. He has really no pressure to land cues there. Thing about Karthus is if he has nothing pressuring you to move a certain way, there's really no way for him to land the Q. Especially once you have tier 2 boots. Good luck. Very nice. And we're gonna get this next dragon as it spawns in as well. Look at that burn, dude. I didn't even use my W. Very, very nice thing about Cinder Hulk, guys. Super underrated item on uh, bruiser champions most bruisers don't go for it because they can't utilize it without having a hard cc not a slow you need a stun a knock up or a snare or there's a few other hard ccs like knockbacks and stuff like that but things like kha'zix can't even use center hole because he doesn't have a hard cc Xin Zhao and udyr can that's why it's one of their highest for great items Warwick also goes Cinderhulk normally as well. Cinderhulk is Warwick's highest win rate jungle item. Because Warwick can apply it with his fear or his R. Cinderhulk super overtuned, guys. Trust me. If your champion can apply hard CC, Cinderhulk's definitely a viable option for it. Most likely. Most likely. Got blue buff coming up here in a second. I'll get my hands on that. Got wolves up as well. Big cinder burn. That wolf should die from the talisman. There's Karthus. I can teach him a lesson. He'll probably step up for the blue buff. Pro tip, guys. You can use your sweeper to kind of check over walls. So we'll see him coming. Yep, here he is. Just hit him with our Qs. Knock him up. Hit him with W. Stay on him with our autos. Auto attack. R. He's dead. Normal, your R does have more range than your auto, so a lot of times in 1v1s, you'll actually be using it to like knock them away. Like It, it does do 15% of their current health, but a lot of the times, especially when you know you're going to win the 1v1, you'll save it until they're out of your auto range, and then you'll just use it kind of like as a tipper to finish them off. If it is going to be a close 1v1, you can use it early since it does do 15% of their current health. So the higher on health they are, the technically the more damage it does. But if you know you're going to win the 1v1 for free, you typically hold on to it just in case you don't need to use it. Oh, it in, I don't think... Oh! Got hit him with the slow. And I have dead mans as well. Oh, you messed up, Zillion. Got him. Knock him up, W, red smite. Watch my spacing. Oh, he got the... Dude, he took the raptor, that turd. He actually took the raptor from me. 
his true goals <laughs> finally came to light. He wasn't even there for me. Let's get this turret. See that tankiness? We're also fast because of the dead mass. The Vlad off of us and damage the Yi all in one swoop. I think Karthus has his R, so I'm gonna try to heal up here. Nice, nice. Yeah, let's take this Herald to end the game. Karthus may try to block it. Red smite Karthus. I think I'm dead though. Yeah, somebody, unless somebody can heal me. That's unfortunate, guys. Yeah, if we still had our R, we could have saved ourselves. As long as they're not inside of your circle, they can't hurt you. Even if it's an Ignite or a Car Thistle. That's pretty much it, though, guys. If you need to see the runes, items, level order, everything, go back to the very start of the video. You'll find it all there. After Black Cleaver here, we'd probably just go for a Lifeline item or Wits End. Probably just go for the Sterics to be safe. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this Zin Zhao Jungle Guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Also, we stream five days a week, so feel free to come check us out live on stream. I'll leave a link down in the description and comment below.